G'day Des here. Just a quick and simple video today. Uh, just showing you how we load our trailers basically from anywhere from a single trailer to a triple road train or not more. I'm just going to show you from uh, the old school right up to the modern method. And all these different methods, I still use them today on different trailers we use. Okay, let's do the intro and get into it. There's a couple of things you need to be aware of when you're loading grain onto trailers. The first one is your axle groups. You need to know how much weight you can put on your axles. And second thing is uh, your test weight. So all your different grains, uh, your sorghum, your chickpeas, your wheat and barley, uh, sunflower seeds, you name it, they all have a different test weight, which is measured by the litre and weighed off. You also got to be a bit remindful of you can carry wheat twice and even though it can come from the same paddock, the test weight can change as well. So you just got to be a bit wary of that when you're loading. One of my first questions I do ask uh, the farmer is what is your test weight doing? It just gives me a bit of an idea how to load the trailers. These are the probably four most common methods. These are the four methods I use anyway. We'll start off with the old school way and we get into the modern way. Three and four are almost the same. Okay, the first method is basically eyeballing what's happening inside your, your bin, your trailer. You can see with the uh, aluminium tipper we got here, we're using uh, paint stripes down the side. The bottom one's usually the marker for the wheat, the top one's for the barley, and when she goes right up to the top, that's for sunflower. That's what I'm loading here. Second way is. Um, I still use it quite often because not all our dollies are airbagged. Um, using a hydraulic hoist, a hydraulic pressure. I just lift the hoist up a little bit just to get the pressure off the bin of itself so it's not sitting on top of the, uh, the chassis. So more the uh, weight I've got on the hoist for building up grain, it's uh, higher the pressure I'll get. For every trailer and on most on every dolly, I know where roughly to put the pressure gauge to and that's pretty accurate that way. Okay, we're getting to the airbag system. We've got the uh, good old uh, pressure gauge on your airbags, the old N-Log system. Works very well, very accurate. Now we're getting to the very modern stuff, is the uh, digital readout uh, pressure gauge. Actually tells you what the weight is, so you can actually calculate how many more tons you can actually need. Reasonably accurate, uh, reasonably easy. Uh, and our video has been sped up to about five minutes. Me loading an AB triple here. Farmer wasn't about to start his own auger and do, help me out, so I had to do it all myself. Uh, you can see I've just started and set things up, got the motor running, adjusted the truck, I found a dropper to put on the ground, so that's my marker. Uh, I have a couple of points where I fill up, I don't fill the whole bin up. Quite often it's just two little poles. And I've just got to keep, oh, not moving, but got to keep an eye on everything. I use all those different systems, uh, what I've just went through, uh, from eyeballing to hydraulic hoist to the airbag pressure gauges. Something to be aware of uh, with the airbag ones is very easy to get thrown out. You only have to be uh, not up to full pressure, that's why you keep the trucks running, to keep the airbags up. Uh, you need to leave your brakes off. Uh, you also don't want to tie in a hollow uh, over the point where you're loading, otherwise it does throw you out and it can throw you out for about a ton if you're not careful. And first couple of loads, especially of the season, uh, even with the uh, electronic uh, air, uh, gauges or the analog gauges, I still get up and eyeball it, make it see what it's doing, because um, you never know what the test weight is quite doing because they don't quite know at the start of the season. And it just gives you some idea how you're going to load it anyway. Um, last thing you want to do is overfill it and according to the air gauge um, pressure gauge you have still got plenty to go so you just got to be aware of what's happening up in there. Now sometimes when I'm moving the truck it could be um, from one end of the trailer to the other end of the trailer or sometimes it's only a meter. Um, loading barley is quite often when you got to load uh, move it a couple times. Uh, the wheat you only have to Put one pole in the front, one pole in the back. Uh, barley, Susie, yeah. Um, one really big one in the front, and maybe two big ones at the back, or one in the middle. 
one at the front, one in the middle, and one at the back. It depends how you want to load it, basically. I have been hearing um, at Grand Court when I listen to this, I mean, other blokes on the radio, uh, especially loading out of the front and loader. Um, quite often they got loaders which can go tip over the sides. Uh, they quite often load in the middle first and even it up front or back. Um, it was I've never tried that way, but uh, if you got airbags all the way through and they got stuff on the um, they would be Bluetooth to the phone that and it, uh, the digital one. So yeah, they basically don't have to get out. So um, all the best to them. But I still like to get out and walk around myself. You can see me walking down and actually move the truck back a little bit. I quite often fill it right up the back of the trailer. Then I just roll uh, to back up about a meter or so. So it means I don't go too far forward and tip it over the end of the trailer. So it's just my method how I do it and I find it's the safest way I can do it for myself. You also will see me uh, doing a bit, a little bit of clean up around the silo as well because I uh, spilled a little bit of grain out of the hopper. Um, barley wasn't running out as nicely as it could be. Um, sometimes it overflowed the auger so I made the mess so I cleaned it up. Um, this bloke's got a pretty uh, clean yard. Um, there was no grain around there so I was just doing the right thing by him. That is not the reason why I carry a broom and a sh shovel in the truck. Uh, but completely different reasons but uh, the brooms usually just sweep the back of the trailer out and the um, shovel was for a um, uh, cleaning in. the side tippers out sometimes. So the next job after all this is uh, roll the tarps back over and um, get on the road and head to the destination where I unloaded it. I hope that gives you some idea what we do, how we load trailers if you're ever interested or you wanted to know. Um, hope it's been helpful to you. Anyway, can everyone please be safe on the road, take good care of each other, keep the shiny side up and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.